So guys, today I need to speak about this whole thing about Little Wayne and 50 Cent literally just disgracing and embarrassing themselves in front of the world. But we shouldn't be surprised because this has happened before, before, before. So I think Little Wayne has been doing podcasts, you know, in Squamity, people are diversifying what they do. And he had 50 Cent on and they were just speaking, I think for like an hour. And then I don't really know how the topic came up, but of course 50 Cent starts off with his clownery and starts saying that black women are angry. He also said that exotic women are the ones that are different to what he grew up seeing. It wasn't like he said something about those are not the girls you see in the hood or in the neighborhood. Um, and then he also said the exotic women looks like they came off a boat. Um, so yeah, um, and then while uh, 50 Cent was just embarrassing himself, uh, Little Wayne starts laughing. Um, again, not shocking at all, at all, at all. This is just the same thing, different day. Oh, it's so common to see a lot of black celebrities, especially black male celebrities, talk down towards black women. Like I really want someone to tell me, and please correct me if I'm wrong, I have not seen other race men down their own race women before especially not to the extent that black men do it it's just I've, I've never seen it before and if i'm wrong please correct me but i don't think i've ever seen it before even in movies in media i've never seen it in a book i've just never seen or read or heard about this narrative within other races but unfortunately within the black race a lot of black men or some black men just are disgusting they have so much self-hate that they're willing to like disrespect other people for a giggle or to make themselves feel better it's really embarrassing you've seen grown like 40 50 almost 50 year old men moving like school girls talking like school girls literally trying to make fun like it's just it's just you would think by this age your insecurities you'll be over it but no it's really really apparent so if i speak about what he said black women are angry i just i just this whole narrative is really boring it's really boring because what men like this will do is the outrage that he's facing right now he'll be like you see you see that's you see they're angry i'm like for me personally like me personally i really don't care like i personally don't care um i'm not looking for approval from near person i'm not looking for approval from nobody um i do not have a problem with who people date it's the insult that comes after it sometimes that i have a problem with you know what i mean i have dated outside of my race so i'm not anti interracial dating however i'm not gonna dog my own race you know what i mean i'm not gonna dog my own race i'm not gonna disrespect my own so i can feel ahead that's just I've, that whole thing to me is mad i find it quite strange um and that's what 50 cent is doing insulting his own to pick up somebody else for what like what is the reason it's just what is the reason and then let's even define exotic exotic means foreign so realistically speaking if he dates a girl from florida that's still foreign to him because he's from new york no or if he was to date a girl from england is that not foreign because she's from or exotic since she's foreign like i don't even still i don't even really care the whole word like the whole just fetishizing or just so concerned about looks is above me i'm sorry i just of course looks is important but i never look at looks this deep honestly it's just not that deep for me he's so ignorant because he's from new york new york has a huge latin american community so if he was saying like i think he's he's current girls cuban what well, they call her cuban links so i'm assuming she's cuban there's bare there, there are loads and loads and loads of hispanic people in new york a lot of them also live in the hood so I don't understand this whole notion of like he almost made it seem as if only black girls and at that ugly black girls live in the hood that's how i felt he meant it for me i'm not even shocked with 50 cent but i'm also not shocked with little wayne no he didn't say anything but he was laughing laughing means you're as complicit as the other person because you're agreeing and laughing that's what laughing says to me and luckily for 50 cent or he's for his kids he don't have a girl so thank god his kid doesn't have to grow up thinking the worst about himself don't get me wrong 50 cent has another child and we go get into that but um little wayne has a daughter regine is black his first baby mom is black so is 50 cent and both little wayne and 50 cent's moms are black you know what i mean their aunties their grandmamas all of them black black women um so for you to say these type of thing, it's like you've indirectly insulted your own. And I feel bad because like 
Regine posting that she's beautiful and that she's exotic and all that type of stuff, she made a tweet. That's almost like she's indirecting her dad. Imagine living in a world where you're subbing your dad for the ignorance he said. Like, he indirectly came for you and now you have to respond. Like, can we just really figure that out? That doesn't make sense. And then Toya reposted her daughter. That's her kid. That's his kid. He should know better. But the reason why this is all not shocking is I used to watch their show, um, I think it's called Grown Up Hip Hop. And there was a clip or a time when it little went in an interview and he was asked about the Black Lives Matter movement and he said some ignorant stuff. What's your thought on, on Black Lives Matter? What is it? What, what do you mean? The idea is that there's this movement called Black Lives Matter thinking that the rest of America didn't seem to understand that, that Black Lives Matter. I just sounds weird. I don't know that you put a name on. It's not a name. It's not whatever, whatever. If somebody got shot by police and for a up reason. I am a young, black, rich If that don't let you know that America understand black matter these days, I don't know what it is. Don't come at me with that dumb man. My life matter, especially to my do you separate yourself from it? I don't feel connected to a damn thing that ain't got nothing to do with me. If you do, you crazy. And after that aired, T.I. said something online to Little Wayne. And Regine got in her feelings and responded to T.I. So realistically speaking, she knows her dad's a colorist. She'd been known. Regine and Toya were defending, saying he don't know anything, he don't watch news, da 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 da. No, because they were defending his ignorance. So why they're shocked now? is shocking to me because this came out how long ago there's loads and loads and loads of things that he said that are been colorist but th this occasion that i'm speaking about specifically they defended him by saying he was ignorant nah sorry that went over my head you know what i mean when oh, it just went over it was just going it was just gone um so it's just interesting now that now they're taking a stance almost like against him or against his ideologies um but it's even sad that they have to do that because that's your dad. You know what I mean? You'd feel like you'd get some more respect from your dad. Of course, I don't think Lil Wayne is speaking about his kid or, or Toya, but it's like, it hits them. Then his girl, Cuban Link, came out and said something like, don't worry, ladies, I've um, knocked him over his head. I Me, mean, I can't date no one like that, yeah? I cannot, because that's a reflection of me. Because this person don't love themselves and this person has serious issues that I can't solve. I'm not a therapist. Even Laura London, one of Little Wayne's children's mother also, um, she reposted a picture of Regine and called her beautiful. It's like, it's almost like, it's unnecessary that people even need to do that. But because black women are dogged so often, it's that like we need people to come. And even still, I don't hear any, I didn't see any in the comment section. I didn't see hardly any black men saying anything. You know what I mean? I ain't heard no black celebrity, a male celebrity say anything against what has been going on. They just stay on mute because a lot of them probably think the same thing. Let's just really keep it real. A lot of them probably think the same thing because unfortunately it seems that when black men make it, a sign of wealth, a sign of leveling up is dating outside of your race and dogging your own. That's like, I feel like literally that's it. A lot of the time when you see famous like basketball players, rappers, whatever, their first children's mother is usually black. Then, then after that is other races now, which is fine, but it's like, stop disrespecting your own stop it it's just it's just unnecessary it's like black women get it from here 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 it's just so unnecessary and why they're having these stupid conversations unbeknownst to me grow up actually grow up and i just really want them to know yeah 50 cent and little wayne yeah these women are not dating you because of your looks because of your temperament because you're respectful or you're kind or you know anything that loyal for god's sake anything that most women date men for they're dating you because of your 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 money most times i'm not saying these girls are anything because getting where you fit in but a lot of women are dating men like this for money or for fame or for a come up and that's fine but men got problem that use them these guys need to be used use them so just don't think that if you guys were walking on the street and you had no money, this girl's gonna is gonna give you her number, give you the time of day. It's a buy thing. It's a buy. Even I'm black and they may not find me attractive. I would never give either of them a time of day, even if even though they're rich, because it's no. The looks ain't there. The personality ain't there. It's just no. That's just for me though. But I know this is, could be some of you guys' faves, but I don't care because what they're doing is wrong and. There's so many other young black girls that will be growing up listening to this stuff 
and carrying this for the rest of their life thank god i don't have this issue but a lot of women do have this issue which leads to bleaching which leads to self-hate it, it, it these words mean stuff but we need to actually just in general try to stop caring just try to see if you stop giving it energy because we know what these men are about we know they don't, their opinion doesn't mean anything and we know they're ignorant so why should we even be listening to them it doesn't even require a platform in my opinion but yeah, that's it for me, guys. Thank you for watching this video. Please continue to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.